The project actually started when Chapman uh, came across a team photo of the 1973, uh, the 1973 Portland Mavericks. Um, and it was kind of a team photo that uh, is very different than team photos today with baseball players. They're very kind of uh, clean cut. Uh, this baseball photo, uh, players' jerseys were on backwards, they were drinking beers, there was a dog in the photo. Um, and at first I think we just kind of wanted to know more, right? You know? yeah, Maybe just, Chapman that, that wanted to play with these guys, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It was, it was definitely a team that I would have rooted for, for sure. Um, yeah, so we just did initial research and started finding out more about the team, the different characters that were connected to the story, and we just kind of uncovered this, this great family story that we wanted to tell. Tell me, I mean, beyond the, the backwards baseball jerseys and the beer chugging guys, I mean, tell me what kind of players were the Mavericks? What did it do for the city? Absolutely. So a lot of these players, because the team was an independent team and wasn't affiliated with Major League Baseball, um, Bing had to put together a team of players that nobody else wanted. So these were players that had been maybe cut from other teams, they had been rejected from other teams. Some of them were never even drafted in the first place. Um, so he had to put together this kind of ragtag team of players to compete against these bonus babies that were being paid lots mm. of dollars to perform for, for Major League teams. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's kind of the players were in. Um, like when we were talking to Kurt, you know, a lot of these players were really good baseball players. Maybe they had personality problems. Maybe they had. Putting it lightly. <laughs> lightly. But, you know, Portland was this one area where all these guys could converge on and, and, and have a second chance at playing professional baseball. So, My dad had a really good eye for ball players, and there were a lot of guys that I'd played against and with, so he knew he could put a, a, a team on the field that could compete. Um, Little, little did he know at the time that he, he put on a team that would also um, create a sensation in, 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 in Portland and, uh, yeah. and, and really turn, turn around the view of, of, of baseball itself. So not only did you play uh, in Portland, you know, I, little did I know half my day would be spent looking at stats for you, Kurt Russell, in baseball. So uh, we're not, not that I'm trying to embarrass you, but we pulled up this picture. So uh, let's see, we found you on the Bend Rainbows minor league team, switch hitting yeah. infielder, 1971, first, first yeah. batted 285, yeah. um, then batted 325 the next season for the Walla Walla I Islanders. Am I getting this right, uh, Kurt Russell? Yeah. How, yeah. What, what happened yeah. to this guy? Where's yeah, your, you, where's you your failed to mention go? I made the All Star team twice now. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, then I went, then I got, uh, I, I, they, those teams were affiliated with the San Diego Padres, and then I went to the, uh, California Angels at the time and played in the Texas League uh, in El Paso. So uh, that's Hollywood, when my baseball, dad was kind of following around, looking Holly, around. How did you know? How did you make it? It was in place? our it was in our world. I you know, well um, at the time I just didn't work uh, in in the picture business um, during the baseball season. The picture I just, business. I played baseball. Yeah, this, this story kind of yeah. came together at a really interesting time. Portland, Oregon had just lost their longtime minor league affiliate. Right. Um, and being uh, who's the Deputy Clem on Bonanza production had just shut down from them. Kurt had just torn his rotator cuff, which back Ooh. then basically meant you were done as a ball player. Um, so kind of these interesting factors were kind of converging, and uh, there was a lot of skepticism at first. You know, people in Portland didn't know who Bing was. They didn't think he had a baseball background. Um, it was an independent baseball team. Where was going to be the financial support from Major League Baseball? So at first there was kind of this really deep skepticism, and I think what our documentary covers is mm -hmm. kind of this blossoming love story between the community of Portland and these Portland Mavericks, and it, it just, it absolutely took off.